Liverpool boss Jurgen Klopp speaks out on Prince William being booed at FA Cup final. Liverpool boss Jurgen Klopp has defended fans who booed Prince William during the Reds' FA Cup final victory over Chelsea on Saturday. The Merseyside outfit defeated Thomas Tuchel's men 6-5 in a penalty shootout at Wembley after a 0-0 draw after 120 minutes. Ahead of the encounter, jeers rang around the National Stadium as the Duke of Cambridge, who is the president of the FA, was introduced to Chelsea and Liverpool players. And some fans made obscene hand gestures while the prince was singing the national anthem God Save the Queen. Both the national anthem and Abide With Me were booed pre-match. The actions of the booing fans have caused widespread outrage, but Klopp has refused to condemn the behavior. Of course I have thoughts, but I think in these situations it's best to ask the question, why does it happen, the German said to reporters ahead of the Reds' Premier League clash with Southampton on Tuesday night. They wouldn't do if there was no reason. I've not been here long enough to understand the reason for it, it's for sure something historical. And that's probably questions you can answer much better than I could ever. The majority of our supporters are wonderful people, really smart, go through lows and highs. They wouldn't do it without reason. Read more, Arsenal's shortlist shrinks by one as Starr told he's going nowhere but Klopp's comments have been slapped down by Prime Minister Boris Johnson's official spokesman, who was asked if the German's viewpoint was right. No, the spokesman replied and went on to say it was a great shame as the FA Cup is meant to bring people together. Meanwhile, the Liverpool Echo have explained why the booing may have taken place. There are a multitude of reasons as to why Liverpool fans and people from the city in general choose not to associate themselves with the English national anthem, the publication reported. The origins of why the red half of Merseyside boo the national anthem can be traced back to the 1980s. Don't miss the conservative government's managed decline of the city, was then followed by the failings of the government following the Hillsborough disaster further entrenched those feelings. While in recent years, the people of Merseyside feel they continue to be let down by the state and believe the food banks outside Anfield and Goodison is evidence of widening inequalities. The frosty relationship between city and country also translates to the English national team, with many Liverpudlians not supporting England during major tournaments like the Euros or the World Cup. The FA Cup final proved an entertaining affair as Liverpool and Chelsea created chance after chance. But neither team could break the deadlock during 90 minutes of normal time and 30 minutes of extra time. And the Merseysiders ultimately came out on top as Costas Tsimikas scored the winning spot kick in the shootout. Want the latest Premier League news as we publish it on Express Sport? Join our brand new Facebook group by clicking here.